Yeah. And uh, yeah. So anyway. Just like. That. So my so. Basically, okay. long story short, yeah. is the whole point of talking about this was to come back to the idea of self awareness right. and what that means. What is it? Here's another important question: Why is self awareness important for determining whether or not something is human? Because there has been a claim that humans are the only self aware, or that's okay. a determinant of humanity. Okay, that you made yourself that we're self-aware and that's what sets us apart and well, actually i think you humanity. you opened with the self-awareness and then Did i, I? Argue, yeah okay. and then i argue with it okay and i just disagreed Thanks. with you Crap yeah you just got to make a run for the light that's all that's you can do and you can't even like really run <laughs> I mean, no, this is no running way. this is running right yeah. now so what else what is is that the main determining factor for you because i think it opened with me asking you what oh, you thought Yes, what you used to determine what was human and what wasn't. So is self-awareness what you use? Because um, it seems like magpies are perfectly capable of self-awareness. Right. So, well, and magpies and are not human. It. Like, I think like this broad definition that humans are super different and are set apart from everything else is kind of mm, egocentric. Mm -hmm. Like, I think we're finding out that we're not really that different. Well, that's, I mean... Boy, yeah, us. creeping again. I, that's up to. That's also always. Uh, it's just an opinion. How different right. we are, or how different we aren't, is ultimately an opinion because the criteria for that are going to differ from one person to the next. Right. And I guess. So, what are the criteria that make you decide that they're not that humans aren't that different from any other creature on the planet? I mean, like I said, we're not. We're finding out we're just not that different. Like the whole gap between our assumed intelligence between other animals assumed intelligence or self-awareness or whatever you want to use to measure um well the our, our intelligence is definitely different like we're significantly smarter than any other creature on the planet like that's non-debatable right we are but i'm just saying the gap is a lot less wide than we think it is like, i guess our intelligence has like rapidly evolved like yeah. very rapidly right um and i can definitely agree to that but i think we have really similar starting points that we are seeing in well yeah species that, across the that's just evolution right but i mean but all of and, and even all of this is a distinction between humans and other animals and what i want to know is what makes humans humans not what makes humans special but that's that's part of what makes humans human is the fact that we think we're special that we think we're different. If you have an AI that's just as capable of feeling these feelings and being self-aware uh -huh. and having goals and being able to reason and have thought process, right. and it's based as we off of a them. human brain scan, then it's not really different from being human. Right. Is well, it, that's do you the, really feel like your body question. is what makes you you? I mean, maybe some like meatheads do, but you know what I'm saying? like. It Do you think so? You don't think that your body makes you you? Let's find the art. No, I've never felt like that. Of course, I've probably just never been one of those people that's taken like a whole lot of, um, I don't know, pride in my body. Like I've never been the little athletic. So, kid, so. that doesn't have anything to do with it. Taking no, pride in your body doesn't have anything to do with inhabiting your body. Well, but it does. I mean, if you're not comfortable in your body, then. There's a you difference between you're talking about self-image. We're we're not talking well, about self-image here. It's all tied together, isn't it? No, it, it is. No, no, no. Okay. People people can feel insecure with the I'm way that they look just and insecure. still not want to be in like a robot body. I just there, I would define myself issues. by my brain, and if my brain is in a robot body, then it's still me. Even if there's two me's at that point. We're about to listen to an audio log. Explore everything. Welcome to Tau. What's left of it? Are you guys all right? What happened here? We ran out of real food long ago. People have been getting sick. Haven't heard from anyone in months. No shit. They all think you're dead down here. Some failed evac story circulating at Omicron. Oh God. Listen, son. We're on an important mission, and we need your help to operate the Omega Space Gun. 
When it's done, we can all head back up the plateau. But now we need to get moving. Of course. Head on through to the habitat. We shut off the front section to reserve power. All right. See you soon. Okay. So, um, I definitely think there's some people who associate their identity with their species. Right? Would you say that that's fair to say that there are people who feel that way? Um, yeah, obviously. So, I, mean, I think that that's like, what this I is about. no goddamn monkey. You know that's, what I mean? No, I don't. You're talking about something different. <laughs> no, I'm just You're saying talking that's about how people define themselves. Yeah, but I'm <laughs> not talking about that. I'm talking about just regular people who maybe associate their identities with their species. Like, I am a human being who inhabits this body. It's part of who I am, right? I guess so. Like, do you... you can you conceive of the possibility that some people might feel yeah, that way? Of course. Who aren't retard pillows? I'm like, I'm not the only way of thought in this universe. Right. Like, I don't... I'm just, that's, I'm, I'm just trying to... I can acknowledge other people think differently. Right. And I'm trying to bring you to that point. Like, I feel like... Yeah, this door takes a long time to open. And it's it's taking a long time to open for a reason, actually. Yep. And that reason is it's teaching you that this is how long this door takes to open. Yes. So that you're you know what to expect whenever it happens again. Yeah, a real long time. Yeah. Because monster. Hey buddy. Time to run like a bitch. Run like a bitch, the video game. Yeah, seriously, you're not out. Um, so that's all, is I feel like, you know, maybe uh, you and I are both couched in our uh, thought processes, I guess. And I'm trying to uh, establish a bridge where, you know... I don't know. We both think about things a little bit differently by the time we're done, right? Mm -hmm. Are you listening to me? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm also I, a little bit worried about him. Because yeah, I, don't I know. know where he's at. That's why I was asking if you were listening. I went. I. I know you're too busy what? being scared by stuff that's I'm already not happened. Not scared. You're scared. You're super scared. Whatever. Um. Where did he go? Where did he go? I don't know. That's what I asked. Um. So. There are some people who feel that way, who feel like, again, their identity is couched in their body and uh, that it makes up their personhood, I guess. I'm not sure how else to describe it. Right. Um, also, if I recall correctly, there are definitely like some files around here that I wanted to look at. That I, oh, God. <laughs> Shit. That I just didn't get the fucking time to look at because this dude is all oh, over your Jesus. asshole. He doesn't fucking go away. Yeah, he... Like, while you're reading stuff, time is still progressing, and that dude's still wandering around. Yeah. It's bullshit. Wow, this was... I forgot he got this close. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. He's, he's really... He's really up and, in, up and on you. Um... So, yeah. I just, uh... I don't know. <laughs> um... Just that I, I guess different people might feel like if they're not if they're not in their human body anymore that they were that they were born with that they associate strongly with that they're not human anymore. Yeah, but and if they're not in their body. Like they know they're not in their body. Like how does that change anything? That's what I don't get. And obviously, like I don't have this personal experience. Right. So I feel the same I way. Can't... Like I said, if I took if I put my brain in. Uh, like a, a robot body, I still, I'm still me. I don't feel like I'm anyone different. I feel like if you take a copy of me, even if it's supposedly a perfect copy, um, and run that simulation or program or whatever, then it's not me anymore. It's a copy of me. I mean, I feel like my brain is an original product, right? Right. And if you make a copy of it, then that copy is still a copy. Yeah. Like. I'm all. I think it also has to do with like, what's. How certain can you be, that this motherfucker 
Like, I feel so unsafe. Yeah. All the time. Um, like, I want to read, I want to see what all these buttons do, but I don't have fucking time. I'm like, what is this even? He's coming. And, like, the voltage keeps going up, but the effect goes down. I don't know if that's important. I don't know who this guy is. I don't, what's all this? There's lots of stuff to click and not much time to click it. Um, like how, so how, um, accurate of a brain scan, like what I get, or I guess like what's, would you, is it possible to make any distinction between a physical brain and a perfect replica on, like in a program? Not in this world. Hang Anyone on. there? Great, so there's somebody in the infirmary. We gotta check that out later. Um, yeah. um, oh, also, shit. that's oh, the sound shit. of a door opening. Oh, motherfucker! Oh, shit! Oh my god. Oh my god. And he didn't even notice we were in there. Because the music didn't flare up. Oh. He didn't start chasing us. He's so dumb. Oh, he's got a giant thing on his head. And it's very fortunate that he's as dumb as he is. But, still. Um... Yeah. So anyway, no, I understand that this game doesn't want to really draw that distinction, but I'm saying that we as people are capable of drawing that distinction. Mm -hmm. Wow, more than the gel. Entity extended by the gel. Poison of the imprint. Sterilize both. Feed the heart. Force wow to kill itself. Must reach Omicron. Wow pattern replicated in structure gel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Poison the imprint. Sterilize the batch. Feed the heart. Force wow to kill he itself. Yes, he is him banging on the door like a bitch and there is nowhere to go no there isn't it's bullshit and he comes in here like three times i think nice. like he every time i try and check out the stuff that's in here he's like no i'm coming in what you gonna do about it um i think he reacts to the doors that's what we finally came to the conclusion of. Like, he hears the doors. And then we're like, oh, better not chuck that. Okay, so he, actually, you know what, here's, and, and here's another question. That, I knocked that. So, I talked earlier about um, the terminal experiment. In another previous part, I talked about this book. Um, and uh, it says uh, that the description, it's like, this is on Amazon.com, the description for this book is in this fast-paced thriller, Dr. Peter Hobson's investigations into death and afterlife lead him to create three separate electronic versions of, of himself. One has no memory of physical existence and represents life after death. One has no knowledge of death or aging and represents immortality. And the third is left unaltered as a control. But all three have escaped into the worldwide matrix, or just the internet, I guess, and one of them is a killer. So if you have these three versions of yourself that are altered in the ways described, yeah, this dude is relentless. Um, he's just hovering around me. Um, if you have these three versions, are all three of them still you? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Oh my god, he is booking it! I like how into this you're getting, even I'm though kidding, it's right? pre-recorded and everything that Shut happened up. has happened. I told you, this is how I already do the game. Close all the doors. You're such a dork. Yeah, there's no time. He's, like, about ready to fuck know, shit up. I know. You can hear him go bleh right outside. So I'm just watching the lights on both of the doors to see which one opens first. Then book it out the other one. Um. Did you hear the description that I just gave you? Oh, of the book? the different cells that escape? Uh, uh, yeah, so the different copies. So, like, if you... Uh, if you remove some parts of the brain, like, uh, or some parts of memory, mm -hmm. like all memory of physical existence. Okay. To, to represent life after I death. I don't believe that Is that still, still you? No. Not if you remove all your memories. Because I feel like... You're not removing memory. all your memories. You're removing, you're removing some memories. Memories of what it's like to exist physically. So that 
you know, it's all, know, those... again to represent life after death. Do, is that is that still you? Well, we're trying to figure out where to go. Yeah, from looking at the map, yeah. and the map is not super duper helpful. Yeah. Because it's asking you through this. Yeah, because there's we've got two doors here, and homeboy's hovering outside one of them. Not like I got a whole lot of time to deliberate. So he's opening that one. So I open this one. Yeah. Well, I don't Run give a fuck. That way, yeah, you got it. Still got yeah, need to slow him down because this door is gonna take for fucking ever to open. Yeah, I'm glad you remembered that. And we're just gonna hide out here. Yep. And of course he's gonna come in here because he always does. Look at him. He's, he just did you just see how he moved? He just knows where you're at. It's bullshit. Yeah. Oh, there he comes. Look at him running. waddling, power waddling. Yeah, he is. And I finally do all that just in time for this door to open. Get up to him. He can't follow you, right? No. No, he can't follow you. But he's already banging on that door. He never did come in, though, I don't think. He just looked through the door and was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Fucking asshole. <laughs> 